Okay, we got Death Shadow. Interesting. I kind of expect to run into this deck, maybe eventually. Not right now. Really good round one. Penitent, really good round one. Well done, good combo, good combo. Actually, Bridge Troll, we don't need that. Because we have a Harpy Egg. Completely useless round one. I would like to keep that. Kick this. Okay, not for round one, but it could be really good round three. Lamb Gin. Play an organic card from your deck. Okay. But he spent 16 points, 16 provisions, to get out the penitent. Uh, we might just go Haunt, into Penitent, into Harpy Egg, into Trigger Harpy Egg, Trigger Harpy Egg. And um, eating is not the best. We can get a Plague Maiden. So maybe leave the first row open a little bit. Maybe we have to play a K-Run here. But yeah, we have some consumers. I think we should be fine. This gives me consumers. By the way, that's a really bad idea. Because most archetypes currently that run uh, artifacts uh, run them in a way that you cannot shut it down. That's why I actually opted for Artifact here, in this uh, deck. But, I guess we got punished. At any rate, we can consume the Penitent. We might have to give up Round Bomb. Slowing down. Okay. Uh, we can still draw into the Plague Maiden. That's a little annoying. I can get just some extra harpies here. Harpies are the probably the well, it's actually the best death fish. Death love higher vampire. So this guy is committing pretty hard to the first round. I can get eight points. We're gonna be at thirty-six. Very close to him. He's committing so much, that makes me believe that he wants a long round free. That must be it. So we're gonna give up. That's not what I want. He did a good job, but he also used up so much. Okay. This deck is not completely hopeless if it comes to just fighting with draw power. It's not ideal, but we might be able to do it uh, with a card advantage. So this is an excellent throwaway. The egg is not going to be helpful last round. I deal with that. So this should be an easy pass.
And uh, actually, I prefer to go first last round, but uh, that is tricky. That means I lost round one, so... If I could uh, have a long round free, if I could choose to go first or second, I would choose first uh, last round. But obviously I need to be in round uh, one anyway. So, and Drago Larva doesn't help us. Neither will the bridge draw. Uh, we can get a Marilorm. Should be viable. So, this is gonna be an ideal scenario. We are gonna start with Operator. So this is gonna be a more legit game. Operator, Noon Rate. We block one slot right away with the Noon Rate, although it's technically a... Well, a, not a completely useless unit. Then... Keep in mind, I'm, I'm doing this before Gauss, because Gauss only triggers on play. That's amazing. I really hope he's gonna trigger that. So we go Carantir. Uh, copy the Noon Braid. Actually, you can make the argument for copying Gauss, but it's more risky that way. And we have a, a play here for, for the Noon Braid. We can destroy it. And bring it back to life. So that's what we're gonna go for. It's gonna be Gauss. Then the then we destroy the noon rate. Then we start playing some noon rates. And then we eat the noon rates. Pretty easy. <laughs> well, last round. No! He blocks six slots. I only need to block. I only need to play uh, six noon raids in a way. So we go Gals. We destroy the noon raid. And play another noon raid. I wish the game showed you how many uh, slots are blocked. Because currently he has ten, ten slots blocked. And uh, what we need to do is play a noon raid, then play Kayron, and he's out. That's it. GG. The only way he can maybe avoid that. Yeah, we, we still need to do that. Wait, what? Eight, fourteen. Am I counting this correctly? Is he fucked? Eight, fourteen. I think he's fucked. Karen time. No, he's not fucked. I miscalculated. Seven. Oh yeah, I miscalculated. Okay. Damn. Well, that's okay. Jennifer coming soon. I hope so. He's actually not gonna have the highest guy. That's eight plus seven. So 15, this should be enough. He doesn't have the highest guy. He has six units left in his hand. Maybe spells. Yang coming soon? I think Yang coming never. Oh shit. How did he eat that?
Does he have the highest unit? I have no idea how that happened. He doesn't have dominance. He apparently used the Bargast without dominance. Wait. He doesn't control the highest unit on the battlefield. Okay. Bargast is bugged? Oh. I was like, maybe dominance works somehow else, but... Nope. It's just regular bug. Uh, okay, maybe do Rakus. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but... We need something. Bugged always had dominance. Hmm. Actually, let's go Matahari. Extra cards for you, mate. Enjoy. Get out the harpy egg. Okay. I'm sorry guys, there's nothing to see here. We're just waiting for him to uh, consider giving up or just uh, keep discarding his cards. <laughs> oh man. I like this deck, but I, I guess once we already ex executed our, our win, uh, win condition, there's not much to see. Well played, Ricky.